Ladies and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a review of the Killstar Bloodlust Kaftan. But before we get to that, remember, like this video. Comment down below if you want to discuss anything that comes up in the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you can find out every time I upload. And if you're new, hi, lovely to meet you. So, today I'm reviewing the Killstar Bloodlust Kaftan. Here it is. It's very popular, it's done very well, it's from their new uh, summer beach range. So, let's run through the points. It has a damask print flock pattern on it. If you can see, got pentagrams, this sort of beastie here, uh, little crosses, lots of different detail. Uh, it has fringes on the side, a tie waist, there's the ties. It's a relaxed fit and Killstar say it's a soft silky mesh. So that is my first qualm. This is not a soft silky mesh. This is a scratchy mesh. I bought this and when I got it I thought okay, okay, it's a bit scratchy, might just need a wash, might just need some, some fabric conditioner. It's no better on washing. It's still really scratchy. You want a soft silky mesh? This is a soft silky mesh. This is the Necessary Evil Aphrodite kimono. This is soft and silky. This is scratchy. It's not as bad as that stuff that they used to make the little tutus out of when you were, you know, when you were a kid and you went to ballet class, or um, you know that you get underneath. Oh, I can't think which brand it is. There's a brand of clothes. It might be Hearts and Roses that they put a little tutu underneath, and that's fine for a tutu, but because you want it to have some structure and stability. This is not that pleasant on your skin and you know usually if you're going to be wearing a kaftan you're not going to be wearing a big jumper underneath it you know it's for beach wear you're going to be wearing a swimming costume which I was a little unimpressed about um I have washed it a couple of times and if you can see look the print is starting to come off a little bit which again not very impressed about so when it came it had these these tassels that were all tied up. I'll see if I can find a picture on the website of them all tied up because literally washed it once. And look, they've all done, I think this is one of the only ones that's still still tied up. They've all just come undone, which is fine. I'm not a big fan of them tied up particularly. I would rather that they were were loose, but it 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 doesn't, you know, it's not great that they didn't even, I would have thought they would have stitched them, so not hugely impressed with that. Um, the tie waist is fine, you know, it's ruched, it does what it says on the tin, it's it's a tied waist. But I was not impressed with the scratchy, scratchy mesh and the thing that annoyed me the most was the seams. So, as I said, you know, it's it's got these tassels, now let me see if I can find one. Some of the tassels have been, here we go, have been caught in when they've sewn the seam. So look, you see that? That is attached. So it's supposed to come out of there and for hang loose and it's got caught in the seam here. Um, and also the stitching on the seam is quite frankly dreadful. My seven year old daughter has a sewing machine and she could have done better. In fact, a lot of my DIY videos, I was cursing myself for how dreadful my seams were, and I'm sorry, but they were so much better than this. This is just dreadful. Look, it's all wonky and twisted. And I understand that mesh is hard to work with. I've, I've made a skirt out of mesh before. I was thinking of remaking it for another Transformation Tuesday episode to show you guys. But I was a little bit concerned about the quality of the stitching, but after seeing this, I'm just thinking, oh hell, go for it. I mean, look, this it bags out and then it tightens up again. I mean, it's just quite poorly done. Considering that this kimono, sorry, this kaftan is retailing for £40, I think that it's very overpriced for what it is. Bearing in mind that this kimono is £40, and quite frankly, this has got beautiful sleeves. I, you know, I would definitely recommend, if you're going to get one of these, get the Necessary Evil one. The Necessary Evil one is shaped better, it's got the beautiful pointed sleeves, it, it just hangs beautifully and it's really well finished. 
This is nice, but it's not 40 quid nice. I think if that was 20 pounds, yes, steel, brilliant. But for 40 pounds, that's quite a lot of money, bearing in mind the dresses that you can get from Killstar that are 40 quid, and uh, the quality of those on the whole, I haven't had a dress yet from Killstar that I've been unimpressed with the quality. And you think of all the hardware that goes into all these different dresses and stuff. This is essentially a big old square of mesh. It did, however, make me think that maybe I should try and knock one up myself for a Transformation Tuesday episode. So keep an eye out. I may well try and post something like that, you know, making my own, but we'll see. But I think for £40, it's quite overpriced. And considering that it's really scratchy, I wasn't that impressed. It also came with a, um, a tag on it saying that it had been over dyed and that the dye might come out in your skin, which I think was code for them saying if you wear sun cream and put this on, it's going to you're going to end up black because sun cream tends to leach dye because it's oil based. So I wasn't very impressed with it. I think if you're going to spend £40, buy the Necessary Evil Aphrodite kimono. It goes with so much more. This is nice, but it's not great. So yes, in short, I would go the Necessary Evil route and not the, the Bloodlust Kaftan route, but that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Um, I would love to hear your opinions. Um, that's the thing about Killstar. I think on the whole, most of this stuff is gorgeous quality. So I get quite miffed when you get something and the quality is a bit naff because it's not cheap and they kind of have a reputation for being really good quality. So when you buy something and you're like, oh, it makes you think, well, hmm, should I spend that money next time? You know, but there you go. So that was the Killstar Bloodlust Kaftan. Let me know your thoughts in the, in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And remember people, like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell. And remember people, stay heavy.